independent journalists are now far more credible than large, well-funded media activists and political media organizations. Hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Brooke Brett, going live with the Bree Talk and Bay Squad. We have to talk about your favorite rapper turned influencer. But first, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip me some apple juice or my fave, the vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? Already, goddamn, I ain't even did none of disrespect, old girl. But it is what it is. I don't hold Cardi B accountable for what Barty Gang do. I hold her accountable for what she do and the words that came out of her mouth. And I'm not going to put words in her mouth. I'm going to play what she said and we're going to address it. A budget cut in New York that is going to affect schools, public libraries, and um, the police department. Y'all know I don't give a fuck about the cops, but like it is what it is. There's going to be an $120 million budget cut with schools, with libraries, and the cops and the police department, and a $5 million budget cut in sanitation. Of a budget cut in sanitation. Bitch, we're going to be drowning with rats. We're going to be drowning in fucking rats. So we are going to be having a budget cut on these shits. Mind you, and this is why I said, I'm not, this is why I'm telling y'all, I'm not this year. Don't fucking ask me. I don't give a fuck the resume that they send. I don't give a fuck. I'm not endorsing no fucking president no more because how is that a hundred hundred million dollar budget cut in new york city for for um fucking schools library uh police safety and sanitation yeah joe biden is talking about like yeah we could fund two wars we could fund two wars motherfuckers talking about we don't got it but we got it like we're the greatest nation no the fuck we're not we're going through some shit right now like, say it, say it. We really going through, uh, we, we, we really, 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 really are fucked right now. What Joe got to do with this? Joe don't control your local state government. He is the president of the United States, meaning he's over the federal government. What's going on in New York State is New York State problems. Y'all need to be looking at Eric Adams, and y'all need to be looking at Kathy Hogel. See, I didn't even fuck with Eric Adams because I ain't fuck with him. I wanted Maya Wally to win. And I ain't even from New York, so I ain't had no dog in the race. That's y'all who elected these motherfuckers, not me. But let's go back to what's going on. When we're talking about budget and we're talking about funding, that is all coming from Congress. Now, Congress decides what the budget will be. And it's up to the president to approve it after Congress decides what it's going to be. Because the president don't do that shit. It's in the Constitution here. As far as that money that is literally distributed to state to state to state from the federal level it is up to your governor it's up to your local legislation to decide how that money is being utilized and how it's being dispersed not the president y'all have to stop thinking that the president is a dictator or a king that he has the right to go ahead and control state to state to state to state why do you think on from a federal level when we had roe v wade when it was the law of the land that Roe v. Wade was overturned because Donald Trump put three Supreme Court justices who changed their mind about Roe v. Wade, which brought it back to the state level, which is why now you're starting to see re women's reproductive rights being on the ballot, allowing people to decide. But when Joe Biden was in office and from the federal level, what they were trying to do, when you can look at Kamala Harris' ass right here, they were trying to codify women's reproductive rights before the Supreme Court took it. But because y'all didn't vote in 2016, this is the thing that confuses me. Y'all can go from pillar to post or forward to get a hotel room. You can forward to travel to a different state to go to a march and march up and down the damn street, but you can't march to the polls. Where the real change happens. I'm not mad at Cardi B. Some of us, like right now, a lot of people are just frustrated and don't know who to blame. So they just say, oh, let me blame the president. I got a flat tie, let me blame Biden. Biden is the reason why I got a flat tire. My damn shit didn't pop out. Or is my brakes ain't working. I got to blame some damn body. Rather than looking at what we can do to actually call real effective change. Um, Cardi, you were talking about inflation being really high. Um, inflation is high. Everywhere. Everywhere. It's global. It's not a Biden issue. It's not a Democratic issue. It's not an American issue. It's everywhere. But one thing that I do know is that thanks to Biden and this administration, we have some of the lowest inflation compared to the other GQ nations. 
Now, I want y'all to understand, y'all think things are bad right now, but Biden's doing everything he possibly can because Congress refuses to act. We do not control Congress right now. Republicans are in charge of Congress right now, party. So any cuts to the budget that's happening, Congress is in control. Why is it always Democrats? It's like, I keep telling y'all, politics is a number game. We need 60 votes in the Senate to overcome a filibuster. We need 218 votes in Congress in order to pass legislation to put it on the desk for Biden to sign. Everything Democrats have tried to do, when you're talking about New York City, I don't know how many goddamn millions and billions of damn dollars Biden has given to New York City alone when it comes to the infrastructure bill. You were talking about y'all going to be plagued with rats, this, that, and the other. You're not going to see this change happen overnight because it is up to your local state legislatures and how they're going to distribute this money and call for the contractors to actually work on the roads, work on the subway, work on the sanitation. It is all on your local level that's happening. Because Biden did his job when it comes to that. But if you're talking about trying to help people in this in this need, Biden proposed the Build Back Better plan, which was investing $1.7 trillion in paid family leave, expanding the child tax credit, which would have helped a lot of people, especially right now, who are struggling to pay for anything. Affordable housing, Medicaid, dental, vision. I mean, we can go on and on and on about this package that Biden proposed in the Build Back Better plan, but we didn't have the votes in the Senate because Republicans voted against it along with one Democrat, Joe Manchin, who said, we ain't falling for the shit. We're not doing it. But rather than holding Republicans accountable in that one Democratic Senator, Joe Manchin, we blame Joe Biden for everything. We even blaming Joe Biden for a war he didn't even fucking start. Like, I don't know that that Biden is in control of everything. He's in control of the fucking world. He's the president of the world. And I'm not trying to attack Cardi or call her stupid or any of those things because we all can get frustrated and get lost in the sauce. There's so many people that's trying to put the battery in a lot of people's back and trying to make us point the finger rather than telling us what we need to do to make real change. I'm telling you, we have to vote. And you don't have to support Joe Biden. That is your business if you choose to vote for him or not. I'm not begging nobody for votes. I'm trying to galvanize people who give a damn and actually want to see real effective change. Because screaming online, making videos don't mean shit if my ass don't show up to the polls. Because that'll be one damn thing if I'm out here just running my motherfucking mouth and not running my ass to the damn polls. But let me say this in closing, Cardi. Because I support you. Okay, my back shot sounds like bongos. I ain't scared to admit I'm a free call. I ain't scared to admit that I don't know everything. But when I don't know what I'm talking about, I don't jump on the internet and misinform using my platform. We have a responsibility to make sure that we're putting out correct information because right now Candace Owens is running with everything that you're saying. And right now, a lot of people are weaponizing what you're saying and taking it as face value even though you didn't provide a receipt. This is the very reason why I said I'm not going to speak on Israel and Palestine because there's too many people out here running their mouth without knowing what they're talking about. And it's irresponsible and it can be very, very dangerous. I know I said I'm done, but I lied. Look, let me say this. For anybody who's out there and they're struggling and in need and need some assistance, there are programs that already exist that you can find from your local state legislator. You can call them up. It is their job to help you find the programs that already exist. I am sitting in income-restricted housing right now. This place is thanks to income-restricted housing because I can't afford shit. I don't make no goddamn money. Okay, I'm struggling. And it's struggle out here. But there are programs that exist that... You can qualify for it. You just got to find out where to go. There's resources that are available for you in this time of need. And most of these things have been Democratic funded. So if you don't vote and Republicans get in control, they're telling you they're going to end these programs. And I can't afford nothing else. So when I'm telling you I'm going to go vote, that means I'm voting for myself because I don't got nowhere to go. I ain't even got no damn passport. When I talk to you all about global inflation, inflation is hella low here compared to this anywhere else. And I ain't got no damn passport. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Inquiring. So this is Kenny. He's a political commentator. I actually like him when I see his tweets. I like like them and whatnot. And he's kind of funny. At the end of the day, Belkanana got clocked. For spreading misinformation and she was talking all that rah-rah like if something happens to me girl 
nobody believes mainstream media anymore. The independent thinkers and the disruptors are ruling, okay? At the end of the day, I could just tell she didn't have a civics class. She didn't go to political science. She didn't even listen to Schoolhouse Rock. And it shows. And it showed on a lot of y'all because y'all were like, yes, Melka Nana, because she loved history. I can't tell. I cannot tell. It's just at this point, bring back our girls. And on that note, what are your thoughts, babes? What are your opinions? Comment down below. I got to go. Bye, hoes.